And keeping an eye on your money tonight, where port workers who'd been on strike are now back at work on the job after a tentative deal. The deal was reached with the management group representing the shipping lines, terminal operators, and port authorities. That's led economists warnings here in Utah about the strike that shut down ports along the eastern and Gulf Coast may be suspended, but Utahns are still going to have to deal with some of the ripple effects, including likely feeling it when you're paying for groceries. 2 News' Paul Nelson is joining us live. So, Paul, what are economists saying about this? Well, luckily, the impact here in Utah is not going to be as severe as it probably will be for other states. That's what economists are saying. However, realistically, anytime there's any disruption in the supply line for stores like this one here in Kearns, grocery prices inevitably go up. Suppliers for stores like Stan's Market in Kern saw the strike coming before it happened, so they stocked up on extra inventory to avoid any kind of supply problems. But still, shoppers like Michelle Fitches didn't want to take any chances. She remembers the nationwide toilet paper run of 2020. You actually did go out and buy toilet paper when you I heard that. I did. I bought toilet paper yesterday and paper towels because I didn't want to go through what I went through before that. She is worried about prices going too high since she's retired and has her granddaughter living with her, but if that happens, she'll adjust. Maybe you have to change how you do stuff. World Trade Center Utah Director of Business and Corporate Development Matt Wonderly says most of the imports coming into Utah come from the West Coast, so the impact here could be minimal. But they're expecting grocery prices to rise, and they're not certain by how much or for how long. I think the effects are still yet to be fully seen and the ramifications are still unfolding, but we do anticipate impact. He recommends that people stock up on perishable items, but that does not mean people should panic shop and buy as much of an item as they can. I just want to be very clear, like, this is not go make a run on bananas at your local Smiths. That's not what we're seeing at all. We're prepared for this. A lot of retailers have been anticipating this, and so we we are, we are well prepared. When ports shut down like this, what does the World Trade Center Utah do to make it so that companies can get their supplies even though the ports are shut down? How do you help them navigate through that? As the World Trade Center Utah, it's, it's really our goal to first and foremost be your representative and help as, for Utah businesses looking to do business internationally. And Wonderly says that they have good relationships with importers, so any retailers that are having problems getting their supplies, they are encouraged to call World Trade Center Utah. Reporting live, Paul Nelson, KUTV, 2 News. Paul, thank you. We'd love to hear from you at home. Scan the QR code on your screen and vote in our poll question. We want to know, have recent events changed your buying habits? Right now, most of you at 40% say not yet, but it certainly could, 36%, so they won't be making any changes.